Hey everybody, Scott Spratcher here, DocSports.com with our update for Saturday, October 13th. Free college football play coming up in just a bit. Couple of quick notes. We got off to a winning start this week in football. Picked up right where we left off. We had the Eagles on Thursday night. They got the easy win for us over the Giants and we're now on a 17-4, 81% football run up over $5,200 for those wagering just $100 per unit. College football, NFL combined. And the rest of our card goes Saturday and Sunday. It's available right now over at DocSports.com. We've got eight more plays to go, five in college, three in the NFL. It's all topped off by a big seven-star main event in college football. And by the way, uh, those plays, the main events, college football, 32-16 and 16 with the last 48 and we're also on an 80% run with football six-star plays. Our Sunday card is topped by a six-star KO in the NFL. We're, by the way, we're 69% NFL Sundays this season. And after uh, Thursday night's win with the Eagles, we're now 30, uh, 13, and 1 with our last 44 NFL plays. It's all available, DocSports.com on Saturday. You don't want to miss out. I also wanted to mention, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's real easy to do. You click on the link below the video, you get yourself a free $60 account, and you can use that free $60 account on my entire weekend of college and pro football or anybody else's over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts that $60 free account by clicking on the link below the video. Again, the free play in college football coming up in just a moment. Uh, this is our final uh, report for the next couple of days from Las Vegas. We are heading to the Bay Area and uh, we'll be up there for this uh, real estate and wealth expo uh, that we're going to be a part of. A couple of months ago, myself and another better were asked if we could give a seminar, a class on sports betting as an investment and uh, the others on this particular card, so to speak, that will be speaking on Saturday and Sunday, Magic Johnson, Tony Robbins, Pitbull. Uh, so we're looking forward to our time on the stage, and that will be on Sunday. If you're in the Bay Area, it's in San Mateo, and uh, we'll be doing our report at uh, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday afternoon. Going to make sure we get done before Kansas City and New England hook up in Sunday night football. But our Saturday night report will be coming from the hotel room in uh, San Francisco. Be sure to check that out. It will be later than normal on Saturdays. We'd like to get them out early, uh, but it will likely be probably around, I'm going to say, 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern time on Sunday morning. That's about midnight Pacific time when we can get that up. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. Uh, but anyway, uh, because of the weekend being out of the city and up in the Bay Area, uh, the report will be a little bit later, but we will have it. We'll have all your pros versus Joes for Sunday's NFL plus a free Sunday play. Again, don't miss out the rest of my college of pro football plays, eight of them, five Saturday, including the big seven-star main event, all three Sunday, including the six-star play in the NFL, all available right now at DocSports.com. We look to extend our 17-4 and four winning run and extend our NFL run uh, to 33-13-1. College football long-term, 121-83. and 83. That's 59% against the spread. We'll also be in action in the ALCS on Saturday. That play available, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. We've been red hot in baseball, 17-5 uh, and five our last 22. Going back to August 1st, 39-18 and 18, and up over $8,500 for $100 per unit players. So again, all the premium stuff over at DocSports.com. Go grab it right now, the football, and get the baseball on Saturday morning. Uh, real quick, Joes versus Pros report, all that kind of good stuff for Saturday. Uh, looking at some of the Joes versus Pros that we've seen thus far, uh, Ole Miss laying 6.5 to 7 against Arkansas, the game in Little Rock. And uh, the book that I'm using shows this as their biggest Joes versus Pros difference. Uh, this game owns the biggest difference. The Joes right now 56%. That's the tickets at least on the Ole Miss Rebels, but 73% of the overall money on the underdog Razorbacks. Sharps big on Arkansas, public on the other side. Uh, Baylor taking on Texas. Longhorns 14 and a half, uh, 14 also. Uh, public on Texas about 53-54% of the tickets on the Longhorns. The Sharps pretty decisive on Baylor about 65% of the tickets on the underdog, West Virginia laying six and a half at Iowa State. The public on the Mountaineers, almost 60% of the tickets. Uh, the overall money, a little more than 60% on the home standing underdog Iowa State Cyclones. Little note from that one, Cyclones on a 13-3-1 spread run against teams with a winning record. And when West Virginia falters, a lot of time it's been this month, the month of October. They've only covered six of the last 22 October games. Also wanted to mention the most lopsided 
College football side thus far, Texas A&M laying two and a half at South Carolina. Uh, the book I'm using shows 75% of the tickets, 87% of the money on the a and Maggies minus the points. Uh, one game of note that I wanted to mention, uh, the Washington Huskies at the Oregon Ducks where Washington's laying about three and a half, 58% of the tickets, 60% of the money on the underdog Oregon Ducks in this one. Remember, UW has only won seven of the last 18 against ranked opponents. Uh, they go on the road to Eugene here, and uh, the Ducks have been pretty good, obviously, in Eugene against Washington, 6-1-1 one one spread run. Last couple of years, though, it's been Washington's series. And finally, can Colorado break the losing streak against USC? We'll find out. USC lay in seven. We will say this, that about 64% of the tickets, 55% of the overall money, on the Colorado Buffaloes and the normally inflated USC Trojans. Well, you paid for it at the window if you bet them blindly. 5-15-1 against the spread, their last 21. That's some of the goings-on, the betting update, betting report uh, for the Saturday college football card. Listen, if you're not a better, Saturday's card is surely not a sexy one. Not a lot of big-name games taking place. We do have a best bet on a big game in the SEC coming up. And again, the reminder over at DocSports.com, all of my Saturday and Sunday college and NFL plays available right now. Uh, five in college on Saturday, three in Sunday's NFL, seven-star college main event, 32 and 16 with those plays, 80% run with six-star football plays. And we've got one going on Sunday, the top play for Sunday's NFL. You don't want to miss out. All right, let's get to our free play as we actually watch our free play on Friday night as we cut this. The uh, we had the under between the Dodgers and the Brewers right now, the teams in the second inning. Uh, we'll update our record there on Sunday's report. All right, free play for Saturday college football. Georgia's laying 7-7.5 seven, seven at LSU. And you know, I, I know I'm not a big Joe Burrow fan yet because he is inaccurate at times. But, you know, he had some problems with his offensive line last week. They couldn't really pass block real well for him. But there's a lot to be said, I think, for facing and for not facing a real tough Slate of games all season to this point. And as far as George is concerned, it's not been real tough. Kirby Smart's kids have seen nothing but easy street on their way to Bourbon Street. Uh, LSU is stingy against the run. We know that. They themselves can run the football. Uh, Nick Brosette is a decent running back. I think he's trustworthy in this spot defensively. you got Devin White. You've got Grant Delpit. Outstanding in that Tigers back seven on the defensive side of the football. I think they can harass uh, Georgia's outstanding quarterbacks, enough to keep this one close. And say what you want about Eddie O, but his team has covered eight of their last nine in the SEC. And listen, I think this is going to be a game that goes right to the wire. I think we take the points here with LSU over Georgia. Free play on Saturday, LSU plus the points. Hey, listen, if you like what you see in here, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We'll be right back here about 2 a.m. Eastern time, maybe a little bit before that Sunday morning, the report from the hotel up in San Francisco. Best of luck on Saturday. Let's put them in the win column right back here Sunday morning.